Throughout the day, at any time you think of it, and have a quiet moment of reflection, tell yourself again the kind of day you want, the feeling you would have, the things you want to happen to you, and the things you would experience. And say, if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. So what he's saying here is if you want to drop down into the, toward the holy instant and really embrace it, you need to practice and be habitually in the state of mind of if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. Habitually in a place like with your hands wide open, your ears open to listen, your heart open to receive. Because when we come from an agenda, we are coming from an ego self-concept and, and we're coming from that pride. And when we do have that pride, that's where the anger can come up because it's like the situations, the people, the things are not going the way that we have prejudged that they should go. If you stay with the first two aspects of the rules for decision, you will stay in the simplicity of the rules for decision. And it's almost like instead of trying to follow the Ten Commandments, if you go, oh, I remember the first two, they're pretty important. If I could just keep loving God and loving my neighbor as myself, I think I'd do pretty good. Even if I forget the other eight, I'll do pretty good with those first two. It's the same with the rules for decision. If you can just remember the first two, and you're not even concerned about three, four, five, six, seven, you're just actually really excited about the first two, you're going to do real well if you can just stay with the first two. You don't even need the rest if you can remember the first two. And what are those two things? Remember, decide the kind of day that you want. That's pretty simple. You know, fill in the blank. Happy, joyful, loving, peaceful, free-flowing, spontaneous, you know. You can fill in the blank with your words, whatever you want. Just, just decide the kind of day you want. That's number one. And just remember number two. Always remember number two. Because that's how you're going to do it. That's how you're going to achieve it, is, is the means is in number two. Decide that if I make no decisions by myself, this is the day that will be given me. Guaranteed. You're guaranteed a happy day if you just remember that you want a happy day and you aren't going to make any decisions by yourself. You're going to be very prayerful, receptive. Just show me, Lord. I will step back and let let you lead the way. I'm not going to try to interfere here today. It's too important for me to be happy. I'm not going to interfere. I'm not going to interfere with this. It's too important. And those are the one, two, that's the procedure. Those are the most important things to remember. <laughs>